All right, so the Optimus model has the bones, stuff like that. Um, if you come up here, right click, rig. Um, hopefully you already have this. Um, if not, you can search it up online. It's called a uh, rig biped valve three spine. Um, if you search that up on Google, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, it'll show you how to download it, where to put it. If you've been downloading models from uh, the workshop, there should already be some in here. Uh, let's see. Yep. So like, I'm using the the rigs from the models that I download from the workshop. So if you've been using SFM for a while, you should already have some of these down. If not, um, you can go ahead and look up models on the workshop that have these rigs. You can look up rig, and um, here's a universal rig, so you can use it with a bunch of different type of models. Rig, rig, rig. So all these models have rigs and stuff like that, so um, you can sift through them and find the one that you want. Um, some of them are for specific models, and some of them you'll be able to use on all models. I click, use this one, or this one, you could use either of these two. This one just adds an extra spine to his back, but um, overall it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I usually use three just to have that extra flexibility. As you can see, it changes the way his bones look. If you come down here to pelvis, it'll make him kneel down. Obviously, his arms and stuff look weird, and that's because you can actually move them individually. So what that does is that keeps him leveled while also making, let, making him stay on the ground. So if you pull him up off the ground, he'll obviously stop, start floating. But then when you put him back down, he gets leveled again. So now it looks like he's jumping. So it adds a certain weight to it. And this is the point that I was trying to make earlier with the model, some models being easier to animate than others. And why I believe that it was important to make this video to show you guys um, why some people are having trouble. And why it takes me so long to make Transformer animations. Because... Making animations with like normal human models usually come with the bones necessary to apply rigs. And it makes things like jumping, running, doing things that give the character models weight. Like give it weight and stuff like that. Like how he's jumping. Like oh he looks heavy because when he lands on the ground the rest of his body comes down. Because that's what happens when in real life when you jump. When you jump up. And when you land, you kind of bend down a little bit to catch yourself. You can't do that with the Bumblebee model because the, the, the script that you use for Optimus Prime does not work on Bumblebee because his models, because his bones don't look like this. They're not all interconnected like Optimus Prime's was. So... What you have to use is something called an auto rigger, which I'm pretty sure you can find in the workshop. Uh, yeah, it's right here. So just type in the word auto and it should be right here. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to manually connect all the bones um, to make a, a rig script, which will allow you to... Hold on, let me which would allow you to make him jump and stuff like that. And right here, let me show you the problem that always happens. So this is his pelvis, or it's supposed to be his pelvis bone. It's actually connected to his jaw at the moment. And that's because this Bumblebee model, his pelvis is not called a pelvis. It's actually called the hip. And this is... The problem with not just the Transformer models, but because the models on for Source Filmmaker are made by just like just regular people, just us, and because rigging models is very hard and time consuming, extracting models from games is very time consuming. This, um, pelvis is actually called hips, and then um, as you can see down here, it says to add four spine bones, but you'll almost never have to do that. 
Um, it's, it's a lot easier to just to put two. It'll save a lot of time. Um, you could take off the toe bones because he doesn't actually have any toes. You can still keep the fingers rigged since um, he actually had posable fingers in the regular model. And everything else looks fine. So create script. And then what you're going to do is go to rig. And there's already a bumblebee one. Uh, you'll probably have to sift through them if you have a ton of them like me. Bumblebee. And now if you come down to pelvis. Now look. Now as you can see, he has the same ability that the Optimus Prime one does. Now he can jump and stuff like that. You can make him jump. It's easier to do running animations and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's how you rig your models. Um, at least some of them. They don't work for all of them. As you can see, I was having trouble rigging Barricade. And I'll, I never tried rigging Barricade before, so I'll have to do that at a different time. Um, I'll have to show you guys at a different time. But yeah, that's how you rig these two specific models. And I say only these two specific ones because um, another model might be different. It might not rig the same way. It might be missing bones that won't cause it to successfully do it like how I did it with Bumblebee. Um, I actually got lucky with Bumblebee. I've never tried to rig him before. So um, yeah.